Hello everyone, so in this session we are going to see about counters in TIA portal. So basically counters are generally used to count the number of pulses and control the output accordingly. So basically in case of TIA portal there are basically three types of counters. So let us see what are the different types of counters available in TIA portal. So the first one is our count of counter. So basically it will count in the positive direction, right? Similarly, if we observe, we are having this down counter, okay, and then we have up down counter. So basically, combination of up and down counter as well, okay. So in this way, we are having the three counters, right? So the first counter is our up counter. So let us see what is the working and how does the up counter works, right? So let us see what is the working principle of up counter. So here, if we observe. Here we are having an important terminology called CV. So CV is basically the current value of the counter, right? So current value means what actually the counter is counting the number of pulses. So whenever we are uh, incrementing the uh, number of or we are, we can say that whenever we are giving the pulses, the counter is counting in the positive direction. So here, whenever the output is from low to high state, the number of times the output is going from zero to one state, it will be counting, right? So actually what is happening? It is counting the number of input pulses, right? So what will happen? A certain time will come when the preset value of the counter. So basically what is happening is we are having a preset value PV in this counter where which we need to set. Suppose if you set the preset value as 5. Okay. So what will happen when the output when the preset value is equals to the current value of the counter. So the, suppose we have given 5 pulses and the now the current value as well as the preset value are same because preset value is also 5 and the counter's value is also 5. Okay, so when both are equal or whenever the current value is greater than or equal to the preset value, the output will be in the high state always. Okay, so let us observe how to make this and understand more in the pattern manner. Okay, okay, so let us make some tags first. Okay, so here I will be requiring one input pulse tag, right? So input pulse. basically okay so this is our input pulse okay or uh, then we'll be requiring uh, output right so q0.0 .0 or we can say we'll be requiring one reset input right so we need to reset the counter so we'll be requiring one more input so let us give it as reset right so reset okay let me change its name for some in the proper manner okay and let's go okay so in this way we are two having two inputs and the last one is our output q0.0 or we'll be having this as led led mm -hmm. here we'll be having led okay and the our address will be q0.0 okay now go to uh, now this is enough right now let us see it will go to the main branch now what we'll do is i'll take one and now okay now here this will be used for giving input pulses right so here i'll be putting it like this okay now see what i'll do is i will take the now what i will do is i will take the counter here okay okay so it will be requiring one more data block so i'll take it as data block now will be requiring one out okay so now here we'll be requiring the output address okay so it is wrong that's why q0.0 
right after this what will happen is we will be requiring one preset value so what will be the preset value suppose we are giving it as 5 right so what will happen now see we will be requiring one reset input here so in order to reset uh, the counter as well okay so we will be requiring one reset input here okay so in this way we are having all the requirements of the counter now let us download this counter this logic into the virtual plc okay after downloading this let us monitor it okay and then um, going online and monitoring it right so okay so here we are having input pulse and reset as well as the led right so let us see how to uh, we'll be observing it here okay so when you are giving the first pulse right so see here it is counting the first pulse right now we are giving the next pulse again it is counting the next pulse and then in this way when the preset value see here we have given preset value and this is our current value this can be observed here also when you are giving the addresses mc uh, some memory word or memory double word then we can observe the address uh, the counts here also right so uh, let us see it here itself for the moment now i am giving the next input okay so in this way we are giving the number of pulses low high low high so it is counting the number of pulses right so after a particular time or particular count see when we are giving the fifth pulse automatically the output will be in the high state see here the output is in high state so why it is making high because the current value the current value is basically 5 and the preset value is matching that's why the output is in the high state okay now even if you give the next pulse the output will remain in the high state only okay so in this way we are able to control the output with respect to number of pulses okay so this is how we are going to you we are using our up counter so the next counter is down counter that we will be seeing in the next lecture